In 1975, Democratic legislator Betty Hudson from Madison was the first to propose legislation to ensure equal protections for lesbians and gay men in Connecticut. It was passed by the state Senate, making it the first state legislative chamber to pass such a bill in the United States. But Hudson's bill failed to pass in the House. In 1990, during then-Governor Bill O'Neill's State of the State speech, demonstrators interrupted him by calling for passage of the Lesbian and Gay Civil Rights Bill. They shouted and unfurled a banner from the gallery. That demonstration, part of what spurred the Connecticut legislature to pass some of the first hate crime laws in the country. In 1991, then-Governor Lowell Weicker signed legislation making Connecticut the third state in the country to legalize comprehensive protections for lesbians and gay men against discrimination in housing, employment, and public accommodation. It would take 30-some years before the same protections were made legal for transgender men and women. Meanwhile, shortly after Vermont legalized same-sex civil unions in 1999, the call for official recognition for same-sex marriage began to trickle into other New England states. In 2005, then-Governor Jody Rell, a Republican, indicated that she would sign same-sex civil union legislation, but not same-sex marriage. And she did, making Connecticut the first state to pass same-sex civil union legislation without the courts ordering it to do so. Meanwhile, the argument was underway that civil unions were, in effect, separate and unequal. And in October 2008, the state Supreme Court agreed and ordered the state to begin issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples. This effectively made Connecticut the second state to legalize same-sex marriage, Massachusetts the first. Seven years later, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that same-sex marriage should be allowed around the country. Change continued. In 2011, then-Governor Dan Malloy signed legislation that extended civil rights protections against discrimination based on gender identity and expression. In 2015, legislation made it legal for anyone born in Connecticut to change their gender markers on state-issued documents. Governor Malloy also signed into law a ban on conversion therapy and issued an executive order protecting transgender students. In 2019, Governor Ned Lamont outlawed the panic defense in criminal cases, where defendants claim the victim's sexual orientation or gender expression caused the defendants to panic and commit a crime. That year, the state also led efforts to allow student-athletes to compete in sports competitions under their affirmed gender.